Sally and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another video which is kind of a part of my Can I Still Do Gymnastics little series that I've got going on here. If you're new to my channel then it's some background information. I competed gymnastics competitively from the age of about 8 or 9 until 16. I'm now 18 and I know, believe it or not, I look 12, whatever, just don't even, don't start. But basically I competed gymnastics for quite a long time. I was in like my county competition squad and I loved it, still do to be honest. But now I've been out of competitive training for about two years and I only really go like once a week to gymnastics but even that rarely happens just because I have such a busy schedule and so my gymnastics has gone way downhill but I decided to do this little series of videos to see if I can still do gymnastics and I kind of hope I can because it's really sad if I can't. Today's video is going to be all on balance beam and beam was never like my best piece in gymnastics but I did get a couple medals, you know, I did some good routines in my time in gymnastics so hopefully I can still do some skills. Without any further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to be starting off with on mounts, like how you get onto the beam and I'm pretty sure I had like two or three different on mounts, maybe more, but I'm going to show you some of those and I think that this will probably go okay. So the first on mount that I'm going to do is the really simple on mount which is leg over and stand up, which I think I'll do absolutely fine. There's a reason why we got to believe in this town Dodging every flying bullet They are filling up the air Couldn't catch us there now, could you? Dodging every flying bullet We were back to our now I'm going to be attempting a squat on, which again, since the beam is not that high off the ground, I think it'll be okay to do. Now I'm going to be attempting to do a straddle on, which might be a little bit harder. I don't know if I have the strength to do this anymore. Now I'm going to be attempting a split on mount, which I actually competed this like once or twice I think, but I can't remember if it went well or not. And the final on man that I'm going to be attempting would be a shadow leader handstand, but like straight up and then back down. I definitely think I will not be able to do this, but I'm going to give it a good shot and I'll probably do it with the beam a little bit lower down. So I'm a little bit like more likely to be able to do it. I don't know. Let's see. Now I'm going to be attempting some jumps on the beam, which I think should be okay. So basically I'm just going to try and do all the jumps. I'm going to do stretch, tuck, bar, pipe, straddle, W. And now I'm also going to try and do like a pivot turn, a half turn and a full turn. and. I think these probably will be fine. I don't know about the full turn, but I think the other two definitely will be fine. So 
So now we're getting on to the little bit harder skills, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do or not. So first let's try a handstand. I actually never competed at handstand in a beam routine, but we used to do them just for fun, so it would kind of be interesting to see how that went. What I told you, no one knows about, and you keep it that way. Now I'm gonna try and do a cartwheel. I could cry or shout, you would listen either way. And I told you about the whole I'm going to attempt walkovers and I'm a bit nervous about this because back walkover was always like the hardest thing for me to on beam. I literally don't know if I'll be able to do it so I don't know that's super like nerve wracking almost. I'm like too scared to do it. I want to try and do a front walkover but I'll probably need the mats like up or something I don't know because I could do this like ages ago like a really long time ago but I've never been amazing at it and so I do want to be careful of course and then two of the skills which I kind of like completed but not really would be a back handspring step out and an aerial and back handspring step out I did do on the beam at some point but like never on the high beam with no mats like that kind of thing and aerial I would always do on the floor beam or I could do it with a like pod on the on the beam to make it a bit thicker but I'm gonna like kind of see what I can work with with these skills but I don't think I'll actually be able to do it of course like I definitely won't what am I on about So then some of the series that I used to have to do on beam was like a cat leap for example. And then there was split leap which I was always kind of bad at. I used to do tiny little split leaps even though I've got a really good split. And then putting those two together for a split leap cat leap, which I think, I don't even know how that will go just because of the split leap mainly. Then also we would do split leap split jump and split leap W jump, which are just kind of different series with the split leap, but the split leap is kind of the issue I'm gonna guess. And then finally we've got our dismounts from the beam. So I always remember the really basic dismounts which would be a stretch jump or a straddle jump off the end. Then it was a round off off the end. And then it gets a bit more complicated because it was front summy or round off took back or cartwheel took back. And I don't think I'll be able to do a round off to back at all, but front summy is going to be extremely difficult. And a cartwheel to back, I don't even know. I think if it was higher, maybe I could, but with it being low down, I don't think I'll be able to make the back to up. So there you have it. Can I still do gymnastics on the balance beam? I don't even know. Do you know? Because I don't know. Like, I, I haven't done it yet, actually. So I really don't know. <laughs>
But on a real guys, that is this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking that big red subscribe button because you don't want to miss a thing. I post videos every Sunday and every Wednesday and if you want to be the first to know about that and if you want to see them in your subscription boxes, then turn on the notifications with the notification bell icon so you don't miss a thing. I would also love it if you could stay up to date by following me on all of my social media, which will be linked in the description box below make sure to give this video a really big thumbs up because I'm trying to get this video to 2,000 thumbs up so let's hit that like goal I think that is all for now there is nothing else left to say apart from I love you a lottie and I will see you in my next video bye guys